pulled this old beat up piano out and it was all the f people that were there for freshman orientation and this guy comes out and he's like, looks like he hasn't taken a shower in a couple of days and he's real scraggy. I don't think he was barefoot, but he might've been. And he sits down and he plays this amazing music and I'm completely blown away by it. And we were looking for songs for a new record. For me, that was the beginning of God appearing in my life through the through teaching me about grace, which I didn't really know how to even spell. There's nobody, um, there's nobody who wrote songs like Rich. Pretty much everything in our life is a direct result of him and his impact and the communities he liked mm. to form. He just liked to bring people together. And he wasn't this clean cut, good Southern Baptist boy that I thought that he was from reading his lyrics, but he was, you know, this wild, um, sometimes crazy, just guy that was in love with God and in love with God's people. I, I think the love of God begins with letting yourself be loved by giving the Holy Spirit permission to love you as you are and not as you should be, because we're never going to be as we should be. Coming to a place that you go, the God who created everything is, is crazy about you. You just go, that's, that's ridiculous. Letting yourself be loved by God. As you are and not as you should be, because none of us are as we should be. And I knew how much his songs meant to me, but I don't think I realized how much his songs meant to other people. The ones that shared, you know, I wouldn't be sober today if it wasn't for your brother's music. I, I wouldn't be alive today if it wasn't for your brother's music. And I, I, I came out of it with a, a whole different appreciation for who Wayne was. And we'll be singing his songs a hundred years from now, some of them. And, and that's more than you can say about a lot of artists in this world. Like after a concert, people would line up to talk to him. He'd stay out there for like two hours because he just would, you know, stand and listen to people and talk to them forever and ever. I always thought that was just really sweet. 